Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best Yugi tuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio, back with another examination of a deck and its transition into Master All 5 and how I feel it'll get going on. Going on. Get. I'm losing my mind. You guys can't tell I'm actually rather ill. So uh, my fa- uh, my fa- fuck my life. My brain is a little bit foggy so you may hear me waffling on a little bit, not necessarily making completely any sense, but I'll do my best. I've got my little trusty notebooks, you may see me looking down, which is going to give me some uh, pointers on my train of thought before I lose my mind. But hopefully this video is still somewhat informative and entertaining for you in some respect. Um, so this time around I wanted to talk about Cyber Dragons. So Cyber Dragons are a deck that has had some really, really good strengths actually put out for it. Um, a lot of good support and that kind of thing over the last few formats. It's been a really, really solid going second option to just break boards and play through with stuff like Mega Fleet. Um, and just being able to like OTK your opponent out of nowhere. Um, it has always lacked a bit of an issue with going first place. So we're going to quickly analyse and discuss how that all works in the new format. So of course, the strength of Mega Fleet is now diminished somewhat. It's still a pretty strong card, but... The question is, is how much is it going to see play? I guess you've probably got the space for it, so most people will still run it, but how effective it will be, that's another question. Um, Master All 5 has hurt a little in that sense, um, because a lot of the, the the way the deck plays has now been actually tutored around relying on stuff like Seeger uh, being played, and the question is whether the, the benefits of Master All 5 that other decks are seeing are greater than the ones that, that Cyber Dragons are going to see. Um, so in some sense they've lost a little bit of strength, but in, in they've gained in others. So let's have a quick little think about going first boards for Cyber Dragons. So that is something that they've historically struggled with, and this is one of the areas where they have definitely benefited from Master Rule Change. A lot of the time the ending board was something like, is, is it Overflow, the trap card? I can't remember what it's called. This one, the one that pops things by banishing from the grave. Um, they're going to end on Seager and then usually Nova or Infinity, usually Infinity behind that. And that's kind of their end board, which actually can be not too difficult to out for the most part. If they're forced to go first, they usually struggle uh, and they usually blow out a lot of resources to try and get there. Um, however, now without the need for Seager going first, they can probably focus their resources on to going into some slightly better options for going first. What those are remains to be seen, and I'm sure there will be Cyber Dragon players out there who've been testing relatively uh, to sort of see what plays they can make and go forward. Now, going second on the other hand, uh, they've lost a little bit of strength, I believe, because the, the fact that people aren't forced to use that extra monster zone, if people know they're playing against... Um, Cyber Dragons are going to usually try and avoid it actually or keep it clear so they can't be mega fleeted and then you know have the whole issue after that. Um, so overall do they benefit or do they lose out? I think overall that they've probably lost a little bit of strength. What makes the deck so solid is the fact that you can go second and blow people out. The next question is are they better than the other options that we have for going second and that remains to be seen. I think that they're probably going to be like a solid rogue pick. Uh, but I do think that they've lost overall some power. What is important to notice though is that we're probably going to see some improvement in representation by the deck. Um, with the exception of Naxter, pretty much everything has been reprinted at this point. Um, of course, we're seeing now uh, Cyber Emergency has been reprinted and that was a big pay paywall for people to get into the deck. So you may see a lot more people experiment with it which actually may yield some positive results because all it takes is one or two people that were put off before because of the price tag, maybe they're a budget player, but actually a perfectly good player. And then they start toying with ideas and who knows, that's how things develop sometimes in the community. And we may see some improvements overall. And maybe I'll be wrong and hopefully I am because Cyber Dragons, you know, it's a really cool deck. It's nice and fun to play. Uh, it does one thing really, really well. But the question is, can we get it to do a second thing? particularly well um, and that will be the defining point as to whether this deck is worth playing or whether there are just better options out there hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video hopefully i haven't waffled too much although 
give me some fucking slack, guys. I'm uh, I'm I'm dying. <laughs> I, I don't have corona, so don't worry. But you know, it's it's not good. It's not good. Um, but yeah, hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you do have anything that you'd like to discuss, anything that you think that I picked up on that was wrong or was particularly right, or anything that you would like to discuss, definitely drop it down in the comments. I do take a look at all of those. So uh, hopefully we can uh, have a back and forth if anyone has anything that they would like to discuss. Uh, finally, if you haven't already, you should definitely subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content I've put together for you. Enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment. Before you go, be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility. Thanks again for checking in and I'll see you in the next one.